Right, welcome back everyone to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. As you can see from the starting clip, I've made a huge error. And, oh, it's just... Just not good. So, I had the game running uh, in the background whilst I was working. Uh, just so like I could build up the eggs in the uh, hatchery and then you know just hatch a bunch at a time um, and then see if I got any mutations from that and I completely spaced on the fact that obviously if the hatchery is full the dinos don't stop laying eggs it's just they're gonna be everywhere and they literally went everywhere like you can see in the video like there's eggs just all over the place um, there is even like eggs like over here uh, I've lost the majority of the tames that were out here my megatheriums in that little stone hut seem to survive just fine um, I had like four Akatinas uh, which I caught another two off camera and they're all gone now I lost both my RGs um, there is a dung beetle, so one dung beetle is still in the cage, there is another dung beetle that's wandering around somewhere, so that's over there now. Um, I've managed to salvage a base male and a base female, which is good, I thought I'd, um, I... I thought I'd salvaged a mutated Rex, which was this one, but that's not actually along the mutations of any of the ones that I wanted, so that's not actually... That wasn't actually one that I wanted to save, um, and that must have been one that I imprinted on, sort of accidentally. Um, but yeah, so my hatchery went full. The Rexes obviously kept laying eggs, there was eggs everywhere, everything had hatched, there was Rexes everywhere. My game was massively laggy, like, it was just lagging up a storm, and I could barely figure out what I was trying to do, where I was going, anything like that, it was just ridiculous. Um, I ended up figuring out how to or I ended up thinking about looking up a uh, admin code admin command to be able to get the to be able to just kill them all off uh, which I found and we managed to get them all killed and that was fine and that worked well um, and then it was just sort of left over with all of the eggs that I've picked up like as many as I could and I've dumped them in my Rexes. Uh, I dumped that in, dumped some in that Rex, and I've dumped a bunch in my Megatherium as well. So there's a bunch of eggs in there. There's a bunch of eggs in here. There's still a couple of eggs lying around, which are still just going to hatch stuff. Um, but I'm not going to go for that. I'm looking at seeing if I can roll it back to a previous save. I'm gonna lose a bunch of progress uh, in terms of the mutations so I would have I, I probably will lose like a couple of hundred eggs worth of progress and whatever that got me um, but I've also never done this so it might not work at all but if it does work even with that lost progress, it's going to be a lot better than the position that I have been left with here because I've just lost everything. I've only got the base male and the base female to work with, so that in itself is just going to be a pain to get that back because um, I'm having to start the mutations all over again. I've already spent uh, a week or so now doing the mutations, and I'm only about halfway through my health chain actually I'm not even halfway I think I'm like quarter way through I think I've had five mutations uh, on health so far so 
yeah, um, majority of my farm is destroyed, and yeah, it's all just been ridiculous. Like all of my parasaurs, which I had over here, they're all gone. There's all of my turtles, they're all gone. When I started attacking them, obviously the Rexes turned aggressive and so they were attacking back and they were attacking pretty much anything. So I decided to put, I decided to whistle neutral so that everything would, all of my stuff would end up trying to attack all of the Rexes. Because um, I was just going to try and solo it on the Megatheriums and then I realised they'd all go aggressive after the fact. So put everything to neutral and I tried doing it that way and that just got a lot of my stuff killed. A lot of my stuff killed. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try rolling back my save. Um, I did have a look in my save files and I do have one that is from earlier today. So yeah, if that works, it should be before all of this chaos started, um, but yeah, I would have missed out on maybe like one or two mutations, which I'll have to go through trying to get again. Um, I'm assuming because it's all sort of based on percentages and sort of luck that sometime some of those mutations I might actually get quicker, some of those mutations I might get slower, but that'll be something we'll have to deal with when we get there. Oh, look at my nice full hatchery. That's such a shame that that didn't... <laughs> Thing is, I'd actually... I'd come back to it and I noticed that the hatchery was full and there was still some... Some of them are still... Uh, what do you call it? They're still being incubated. Um, and so I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'll leave these for a little bit longer. Um, and then I got a bit distracted, and when I came back again, because I didn't think about the fact that the Rexes would still be laying eggs, and then when I came back again, um, I was in here, and I could see like the screen moving, because obviously the Rex is when they're moving around it does like a screen shake effect and like the movement on the dodo and that screen shaking was very very laggy and I was just very confused and I was wondering if like my computer was overheating or something like that and then I turned around and I saw about 50 Rexes just sort of peering through the walls um, and then I went out and there was just Rexes everywhere I can't remember when I started the recording I think I'd started the recording after I started attacking stuff so I'm not sure how well uh, or how much you actually see of where the Rexes were because I think I started recording from like over here facing this way and you could see like a line of Rexes that I was trying to attack but, like, literally, there was Rexes everywhere. When I clear the... Where I, when I clear all the non-imprinted dinos, you will see, like, all the eggs that are just everywhere. Because um, of when they're laying eggs, it sort of pushes them, pushes the other ones away. So it just sort of spreads out everywhere, and they were all over the place. So yeah, that's that little story time done. I'm going to go and try and figure out if I can roll back the save and we'll see you in a bit once I hopefully figure out how to do it. Right, we're back and everything actually looks good. Oh, so this is bad. That's full. Uh, okay, so we <laughs> we're back, and it's just a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit 
earlier than when I was than when I originally started before. Alright, this is four hours earlier, so that makes like a huge difference. Now, I'm hoping that there's no full size Rexes. Because if there's any full size Rexes, then they're going to start killing stuff. As long as these aren't fully grown, I should be good. like so many of them still go and kill off these lot right I feel like a lot of these are sort of young enough to the point that I can leave them for a bit. This one's kind of big. Actually, I feel like you're actually a fully grown one, aren't you? No, you're not. Go away. Right. Yeah. I need to realistically empty some of this out so that they'll start collecting some of those eggs. Oh, too much. Oh, no. They can stay in here, that's fine. Uh, this guy's still got loads of weight. Actually, I'm going to imprint on both of these just because then they'll be easier to take out. Oh, ah, what am I doing? Don't, don't go outside, please. Oh, god damn it. There you go, right. So, I think I've got enough eggs. Let's get rid of that one. Because that and the shaky screens is getting really annoying now. There's a normal egg there, which I want. And I can use that to make kibble. One normal Rex egg. Where's that one going? Where are you going? Perfect. And then let's get these two. Oh yeah, the other thing I lost was like all of my Megatheriums as well. So I know I didn't really do mutations on those, but that still would have been a pain to have to breed those back. Um, now, is that everything? I don't think so. There looks like another one there. Oh wait, what's happened to my thing? What's happened to my mutated one? Where's... Where's my mutated one gone? Wait, no, it is there. I see the name. Why have you moved over there? Are you, like, eating something? Do I have a saddle on me? No. No, I do not. So let's take this one. Oh yeah, I rearranged how my dinos were laid out as well. The T 
tails sort of seem to have a better radius of sort of like breeding compared to like when they were facing head first. I don't know what that is or why that is. So those three are all mating. These two aren't for some reason. Why aren't you two mating? That one. I don't know, these do seem very wide. you're not mating. Oh, because you're not ready to mate. Oh, yeah, obviously. Some of them might not even be ready to mate. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. So they're all mating, except for you, which is fine. Right. Now, we need to get to work and get these eggs done. Oh, no, because all the eggs are going to be there now. Hmm. Right. Those ones I can leave for now. They're going to be fine. Let's release you back into the wild. I say the wild. What I mean is my house. Okay. Right. So, done some cleanup. We are back on track. Now I just need to sort of go back to normal. Clear out all these eggs. See if we'll get any mutations. And... Yeah, I'm back to where I was, and that is good. I don't have to essentially start from scratch again, which is nice. Um, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm literally just sort of breeding again, um, so I don't really want to do too much of that on camera. It's very sort of repetitive and there's not much to really cover to be fair so we will leave that as it is I reckon potentially my next episode is gonna be going for the brood mother or if anything ridiculous like that happens again I guess um, that's the only reason I sort of made this an episode was because I thought that was quite quite good to keep on camera and get on camera um so i i've got that in an episode uh yeah so next episode i'm trying to gonna go i'm gonna try and go for the brood mother but i'm leveling up all my megatheriums so what i found out with my baryonyx essentially is that killing them off these baby rexes actually give like really good levels so we're using that to our advantage and uh, just using this sort of mutation process and all the baby Brexes that I'm getting to essentially level all of my Megatheriums at a much faster rate than what I was planning to do which was take them all individually into the wild or maybe take a group of a couple into the wild and start killing things that way which would have taken ages to be fair and I've been putting it off for ages as well but yeah this one it should make it a lot more streamlined in terms of getting these leveled up uh max level should be around 270 270 ish so i've started moving them over to this side all of the ones that are that have been leveled up but i'm probably going to move these back in i'm going to get this to max level the one that's in the house into max level and then i'm going to move these ones back in so that they can get max level and then i'll start working on the others as well and once they're all max level we'll take on a brood mother i reckon so i'm going for i think i'm going to go with 30k health and then literally dumping everything else into melee damage um i think the gamma brood mother 
which is sort of the lowest level one, I reckon we'll be fine on, and I reckon that will be fairly simple, and we won't have too many issues, and I don't think we'll lose any Mega Furiums, and I think that one will be fairly straightforward. We might get some that are damaged, uh, but I don't think we'd lose any, and yeah, I reckon we'll be fine on that account, but it then comes down to the beta and the alpha brood mothers. So beta brood mother, from what I understand, is not that big of a jump from the gamma, so potentially we'll see how much damage we do, oh sorry, see how much damage we take. Um, from the Gamma Broodmother and then we'll sort of use that to determine whether or not we'll go with the beta one yet. Um, other than that, I think what we'd have to do... So yeah, if we go for the beta, I'm probably not going to try Alpha because Alpha is meant to be a huge jump from beta uh, in terms of like their health pool and the damage that they do. It's meant to be a much bigger jump from beta to alpha than it is going from gamma to beta so I probably don't want to risk going for alpha unless beta goes ridiculously well which I'm not entirely expecting it to to be honest uh, but yeah we'll have to see so I am just continuing breeding so this rex is on health 5 so it's got 5 mutations in here and I don't know I there's seems to be a imprint in mechanic that is related to packs it seems to be like if the baby dino is surrounded by a bunch of dinos of its own kind it gets an imprint bonus and a lot of them are going up to 100% as well but not that I'd sort of complain because I'm writing these down anyway but the base health on this is now 10,120, which the original one was 8,360, so we've gained about 2,000 health on it already. Um, so that's pretty good, that's really decent, and we're only a quarter of the way there. We can get 20 mutations out of it, so that's what I'm going to go for. And then we're going to go melee damage, and then we might do some stamina as well um, what we'll do is we'll take one out actually no I'm probably not gonna do stamina stamina can go yeah I don't care about stamina unridden dinos is what we're gonna be relying on I'm not really gonna be doing much I doubt with the bosses and it's just mainly gonna be for my protection I guess so yeah, I probably won't worry about stamina because they don't use stamina. The unridden ones don't use stamina, so it's not something I really need to worry about. And yeah, so I just want to do health, I want to do melee damage. And yeah, I need some Deodons as well, which I have one which was a decent level as well. I don't know where it's gone. Oh wait, where has it gone? Ah, there you go. So yeah, 167. I can't remember if I put levels into that or not. I'm pretty sure I tamed it over a level 100. But yeah, so that's somewhat decent. And I do want to breed Deodons as well, because they're really useful boss for boss battles uh, in terms of healing. But it's a mammal, which means it doesn't lay eggs, and it does the whole live birth thing, which was just a fail with the Megatheriums, and I'm not sure if I could put myself through breeding those. I don't want to. I really don't want to, but I feel like I might need to. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what we're doing with that, what I'm doing with that. And I need to figure that out as I go along. Um, I 
think I've sort of covered everything and we're all up to date. Honestly, between episodes, I honestly haven't really done much in terms of going outside this base. It's literally just been farming these eggs and trying to get the mutations. It's a very long process, even though I've got all of my... Ah, oh, crap, I've picked up too many. Even though I've got all of my sliders essentially to max. And... Yeah, I've got all of my sliders all the way to max. Everything is like super quick. It's just ridiculous. It takes so long. It literally takes... I've probably gone through thousands of eggs at this point. Um, luckily, things like the Megatherium um, and when I was using the Baryonyx as well, it's got a decent sort of attack range and attack area, so it can eliminate a lot of these baby Rexes at a time, which sort of speeds it up from, oh, there's a level 100, 211. That's a decent colour as well. So let's imprint on you. I wonder if you've got me my mutation. There's one Rex over there that's sort of thinking it can get away. But that's not the case. None shall escape. Uh, right, so... Let's get off. Are you... You're not. No. You yeah, well. It is mutated, obviously, but it's not the mutation that I want. So, goodbye. Um, I say um a lot. But, yeah. That's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing the colossal screw-up and the fairly decent recovery, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you enjoyed the shorter video than my usual. And until next time, see you later.